Jumbo. Tibarizeno. Munguni Muema. Munguni Muema. Munguni Muema. Amen. Before I leave here, my, Swahili, my Kiswahili will continue to grow. Thank you for my teachers. You will have to forgive my American pronunciation of, uh, of, of Kiswahili words. Now, tonight I have a special treat for you. We're going to take you to a number of the sites that are watching this broadcast. And for those of you who are watching via satellite, internet, Facebook, YouTube, we want you to feel part of the audience. For those of you who are here, you're going to get a double blessing tonight. Well, first, let's go to Tihata. You'll notice that on the screen. There in Tihata, out in a field, we have set up the satellite dish, and many are coming to watch. But look at this place, a marketplace here. And scores of people are watching in the marketplace. It's an amazing experience here when they are able to watch not far from, they are able to watch uh, the broadcast from Nairobi in the marketplace. Here's another one where they have put up a screen there not far from uh, a field. And I'm walking up so I can read it for you. The camera can pick it up. This is the Kehancha, Seventh-day Adventist Church. And they put up a screen in a bus stop so that uh, people who are waiting for the bus can sit down and watch the graphics and hear the sermon. This is an amazing story where we have about 2,000 students at our school and uh, in Mawengori High School teachers are watching 2,000 students and uh, 700 of them are not Seventh-day Adventists. One school where God is moving in incredibly powerful ways. I love this picture as well. This picture is out in a field, very, very primitive location, and it is there at the Lemuk Church in the Greater Rift Valley. God is moving in bus stops. God is moving way out in the country. God is moving through high schools. God is moving through churches. Tonight, I really want to share with you some things that are going on in the country of Burundi. In Burundi, we have 600 separate sites. And just tonight, as I was walking on the stage, I got a number of pictures from baptisms taking place yesterday. In almost every single place that uh, we are able to get reports from, there are baptisms. Now, these are three rural sites not far from Bujumbara, which is the largest city in Burundi. Here is a site that I got, just got a report from. We don't have a picture of it. This is too fresh, too new. In, in Jambe, 25 souls were baptized yesterday, every day in different locations. God is moving. Here is another one where 33 souls were baptized in uh, Jehosha, uh, 33 yesterday. Uh, here's another one in Ruby Risi. Ruby Risi. 56 souls baptized in a lake pond there. What God is doing through these series is really remarkable. Thousands and thousands of people are watching. And I know as you are coming to the local site here, uh, I know as you're coming here in Nairobi that you are praying for the sites all over this division, all over Africa, because we sense that the special anointing and outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Last night, we asked our visitors to raise their hands to give them a copy of the book Great Controversy. 
There was a remarkable experience. A young man who once walked with Jesus but drifted far away. When he raised his hand as a visitor to get great controversy, took the book. When I made the appeal, he came forward to give his life to Christ and to be baptized. And he held up the book in our television interview that we did with him after the meeting. And he said, I'm going to go home and start reading this book cover to cover. You may be a visitor here tonight. You may be a guest that is not a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And this book really impacted me. I was brought up in a Catholic home, educated by the nuns. But yet, my father became a Seventh-day Adventist. He began sharing the truth of God's Word with me. When I read Great Controversy, it just changed my life. If you want to know what's behind the scenes, what's really going on in our world today, and what is going to happen in the future, if you are a guest here tonight, just raise your hand. Our ushers will have the Great Controversy books. This is our gift to you, my personal gift to you, so you can continue to grow in Jesus Christ. I'd love to give one to all those who are watching via satellite, but if I threw it to you, I don't think you could catch it. It would have to go too far through space. And so tonight, if you're a guest, please raise your hand. Anybody on this side, guest visitor, you'd like a copy of the book, Great Controversy? Just lift up your hand over here. Guest visitor, what about here? Just lift up your hand. Ushers will come forward. They're coming forward with the books in their hand right now. Before we open the Bible once again, I'd like you to bow your heads with me wherever you are to pray. Father in heaven, we have already asked for your spirit to come into these meetings. We sense the